my channel. Today is the third instalment of our Halloween week series 2020 and in today's video I'm going to be playing Would You Rather but the Halloween edition. So get ready because there are some very difficult questions for me to answer. Before we start if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, comment down below your answers. I want to see you playing along and make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload. What are we waiting for? Let's get on with it. Okay, so the first one is, would you rather go to the Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida, or go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in Walt Disney World? I haven't been to either, but based on those titles, I would have to say, most likely, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party at Walt Disney World, purely because as you will have known if you've seen the Carbon Pumpkins video with Kaylee, I am the biggest baby in the world. I'm terrified of everything. Things jumping out at me, um, scary movies, all of those things. So a horror night kind of sounds like my worst nightmare, but one part of me kind of wants to go just to see. I'd probably just stay near the Harry Potter because I feel like it would just be Death Eaters and things walking around. But I've seen videos and things of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and I think that that's much better suited for me. It wouldn't be as scary and I could see lots of different characters in different outfits and get lots of treats. So number two is fight a troll in a dungeon with the Golden Trio or fight a basilisk with Harry Potter. Hmm, what would I rather do? I'm going to say fight a troll in the dungeon. I might put the dungeon, it would be in the girls' bathroom, but fight a troll in the dungeons with the golden trio purely because there's the golden trio for a start and me. So that's four people get, get in the. That. I'd probably say fight a troll in the dungeon with the golden trio purely based on the fact that there would be four of us fighting the troll and hopefully we all have a decent knowledge of magic. And even when the golden trio had only been at Hogwarts for a few months, they still were able to defeat them. They were still able to defeat the troll. So I'm going to say that one. Also, I'm not really a fan of snakes. They freak me out a little bit and I don't like the idea of it like slivering up to me. <laughs> so I'm going to say fighting the troll in the dungeon with the golden trio. Number three is, would I rather get 20 treats that are all my favourites or 50 treats that aren't my favourites. Okay, so some people will probably go for 50, but I'm gonna go for 20 because, because I'd rather have 20 treats that I enjoy rather than 50 treats I don't enjoy. If I did get 50 treats that I didn't enjoy, I would probably share them between my family. And even if I had treats I enjoyed, I'd probably still share them with my family. But I'm gonna say 20 treats because I'd rather have my favourite treats than ones I don't like. Number four. Would you rather have to wear a Halloween costume every day until Christmas or have to wear a pumpkin as a hat on your head for three days in November? I don't know what it'd be like to wear a pumpkin, but I feel like because you've only got to do it for three days, it would probably be better to do that in November. And even though Halloween's just over, I'd rather not have to wear a Halloween costume every day until Christmas because that's quite a long time. So I'd rather just suffer with having a pumpkin as a hat on my head for three days. Number five is to decorate one large pumpkin or ten small pumpkins. Hmm. One large or ten small. If you did the large one, you could probably do a really cool, like, big design. But then, if you had ten small ones, you could do ten different designs. Or you could do ten designs that make up one big design. So I think I'm going to say ten pumpkins because then I can have lots of different tries. Also, if I mess up one pumpkin, it doesn't matter because there's nine others for me to do. Number six, would you rather eat all of your candy in one night or eat one every day of the year? For me, as a child, I always ate like a couple on Halloween, as many as I was kind of allowed. And then I would hide them and eat one each day. So for me, I'm going to say eat one every day for a year because that way, as long as you check the dates and everything, you have a cool sweet to eat every single day. Otherwise, if you eat them all in one go, you're going to make yourself feel really sick. And I am that sort of person that will have like a couple of chocolates and then I'll feel sick. And I'll be like, nope. So I'd just rather have one each day for a year. Number seven, would you rather learn to brew potions or learn to fly? For me, I'd rather learn to brew potions because there's probably a potion that can make you fly or get you from one place to the other. So that way I could have both. Um, 
and or learning to fly would be really cool and I know you could get to lots of different places but then you wouldn't know how to make like protection potions and invisibility potions you could only learn how to fly so for me I'd rather learn to brew potions I think it'd be so much more fun and I just love the idea of brewing potions especially as I love baking number eight would I rather make a DIY costume for Halloween or get a store-bought costume I've got a few store-bought costumes but I actually prefer doing DIY ones, being able to look up and find out different things that you can put into your costume. So for example, if you're going to be, let's say, a pumpkin, you could actually get a really cool like, orange hat and put um, part of the pumpkin face on it. You get like an orange shirt and then you could either like puff it out with something from the inside or you could put lots of like, cotton balls on the front or something on the front. You can, when you DIY something, you can make it exactly how you want it. So for example, when I cosplayed as Emma Swan, I kind of cosplayed as Emma Swan a couple of years ago. I bought, went out and found a red leather jacket. I found some really nice brown boots that I could use. I found like the perfect pair of jeans, the perfect tank top and top. And I really could choose how I wanted that character. Whereas if I buy something, it might not be exactly how I want it. It might not fit me perfectly. Also, it could be really, really expensive to buy a costume, especially if you buy one from like a party shop, they're very expensive. So I quite like to DIY and make my own. But then I'm not going to say that you shouldn't buy costumes because there are definitely small shops and things out there that can help you to be able to make your cosplays. And there are some that actually make cosplays for you, which can be really good and really helpful. And if I had the money, I might possibly buy a cosplay or an outfit that I could get from a smaller shop or a small business and um, depend on how much it was number nine would you rather have wings like a bat or fangs like a vampire i think having you believe to have wings like a bat would be quite cool because even though vampire fangs would be in your mouth and you don't really notice when you're talking you could kind of be like maleficent where you can just fly or you can cuddle them around yourself when you're cold i'm just imagining they're quite big or even if they were quite small they could be hidden but you could fly and go places and then if i had Wings like a bat, I wouldn't need to learn how to fly on a broomstick because I've already got wings to help me and I could brew potions. So yeah, honestly I rambled so much, I apologise. 10. Would you rather wear a cute jumper or sweater or a cute coat? When I was younger I preferred to wear a coat just because I got cold quite easily and I still get cold easily. However, I've discovered uh, thermals, so a few years ago I discovered thermals, so I put them under my clothes and that way I can have my cute jumper on the top and I'm not that cold. Obviously you still need to be wary in the winter because you don't want to get ill and I wear my scarf and my hat and my gloves, but I'd much rather wear a cute jumper or sweater, for example my pumpkin jumper that I've got or my spirit jerseys or cute Christmas jumpers um, rather than wearing a coat. But I would, if I'm cold, I will wear a coat. I've got a few cute coats and I've got coats for work and things like that. But personally, I'd rather wear a cute jumper or a sweater with my thermal underneath so that I can be nice and warm and snug. That's all the Would You Rather's for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please keep an eye out for the next few Halloween week videos. We still have a few to come. I'm really hoping you're enjoying this Halloween week series. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what are your answers. Were they the same? Were they different? And hmm, maybe you could also comment a pumpkin because it's Halloween week as well with your answers. That would be really cool. If you'd like to subscribe, please click here and turn that notification bell on so you're notified every time I upload. And if you'd like to check out any more of my videos, please click here. I hope you're having the most spectacular day and I will see you soon. Bye!